Hi and welcome to Guardians of Tear. Uh, my name's Barry and we're going to be watching a game of Warhammer Champions. Uh, me and Mike are playing a best of three match. Um, hopefully the organised play rules will be out soon. Um, we thought we'd get a best of three match game going in as it's very much like the Lightseekers OP. So Mike's playing um, Grand Alliance Death with Vampires. I'm playing Grand Alliance Order with Stormcasts. Uh, my deck was um, is Matt Cosmore's build from Six Ages Gaming. It's the Celestant Prime Control deck. Um, starting off with the Liberator Prime. Got to save some points because the Celestant Prime <laughs> costs you 12. So now Mike's got to lay two champions. Vargolf Courtier goes into play, so when he deploys spells he'll gain health. And a bloody Vampire Queen so he can recur some vampires. I've got another Liberator Prime on my flanks. Vandas Hammerhand goes into play, the poster boy of Warhammer Champions. Hungering Vampire Lord, so you can discard a card and gain health, and a basic skeleton champion, and I finish off with my Celestant Prime. So, aim is to hit the Celestant Prime's heroic act every turn. I get to see two cards, I put one at the bottom and put one in my hand. So, we're just sorting out our health tracks. I'm on a nice 35. Mike is on 27. So, off we go. I draw four cards for being first player. Mike draws five. So, the good thing is both of these decks are control decks. Um, with order, they tend to control the columns, whereas um, the death will control the discard pile and uh, burn a lot of my stuff. So, there we go. Heroic act straight away. Grab a card, ditch a card. Piercing shot. Hitting Vandas' first quest. That's my two actions, so it goes over to Mike. So, feasting Vargeist, so the first two corners he's going to gain a health, and on the third corner he'll gain two cards. And then he draws as his second action. There we go, so, first action, hit Celestant Prime. One in my hand, one at the bottom. The cards are a little bit, um, a little bit slippery, really need to be sleeved. So, Destructive Liberator. So, I'm controlling the column for a bloody Vampire Queen, so she can't deploy any units. So, Mike gains a health from the Feasting Vargeist. Draws two cards. Now, my go. So, the Destructive Liberator would have hit the Liberator Prime's first quest. So, oh, I forgot about that. And went straight on in my excitement to uh, hit the heroic act for Celestant Prime. So I got the main draw card. So now Liberator Prime's out. It's controlling that fourth column for Mike. So it's forcing him to deploy into um, his column one or column three, which will trigger my Inspire Glory. So his Vargeist is going to give him two cards. So he's. Pull some terror guys there. And one goes into play. So hits his first quest of the skeleton champion. Hits my inspired glory. I draw two cards. And then Mike ditches a card because of the terror geist. So he's still got his second action. So 
There we go. So I've remembered. So Zombie Dragon goes into play. Discards a card. So he's got some heavy hitters out now. So, but he hits my Inspire Glory, so I get to draw two cards. So Inspire Glory should really go into the into the bin, into the discard pile. So Liberator Prime for two, still controlling the Vampire Queen's column or lane. Hurricane Raptor in. So Hurricane Raptors, you can't play units into that lane, you can't play spells, and you can't play ability cards. So Vanders Hammerhands, just done the second quest. Triumphant Smash to remove the Zombie Dragon, does his third quest. All I've got to do now is deal damage on his fourth quest, which will trigger when the Hurricane Raptors um, rotate next turn. So, next turn, Vandas' quest is done. Let's see what we get. So now Mike can only deploy into the Hungering Vampire's lane. Unless he puts a stacking unit onto his Terrorgeist, but highly unlikely because his Terrorgeist is not hitting for damage yet. So he's having a long old think about it. Looks like he's drawing two. There we go. Right, let's see. So Liberator Prime comes out. Two damage from the Hurricane Raptor. Vanna's Hammer Hands all complete. Storm Forge is drawn as a blessing. So the Liberator Primes didn't draw the. Um, don't get to draw a card from the Liberator. The um, Disruptive Liberators going because they went out of play before the blessing was revealed. now it's time to concentrate on another champion and try and get his rotations get his quests filled so Lord of Hosts it's the only um, that's the only champion I can play Lord of Hosts on because it's the only 7 coster but it restarts my um, Hurricane Raptors which locks down that Vargulf um, the Vargulf Courtiers channel so another Hurricane Raptor coming in on my Liberator Prime, so can't deploy units, can't play spells, can't play abilities on the channel for or the lanes for Courtier Vargolfs or the Bloody Vampire Queen. Now, this deck has got quite a few restarts in, so if you can restart these Hurricane Raptors, you're pretty much locking down what your opponent can do. He's only going to be playing with half of his half of his lanes. So really good, a really good card against destruction. Um, and you can rotate those cards out so they can't get stacking units on them. Plus they're one of the only cards for um, order that do damage straight away on their first corner. So um, they're good for hitting the uh, damage quests. So Mike's just double checking about how the Hurricane Raptors work. I do kind of put a spanner in the works. They are an awesome card. So it looks like he's thinking about Arcane Bolt. There we go. Arcane Bolt's in. So it's kind of like limited on options because of the control that they've got. Um, you can't fulfill a quest with that at the minute. There we go, four damage. Celestant Prime's heroic act again. Draw two cards, keep one of them, ditch the other. It's time to start thinking about hitting some quests for the other two champions. So 
So inspire glory. Probably not the best of plays right now. Um, Terror guys hitting for four. Next turn, that arcane bolt's going to hit for seven. So with the Inspire Glory, you can either draw cards off of it or you can do a heroic axe off of it and gain two health. Um, but realistically, that card needs to be kept for Celestant Prime's um, third and fourth quest because you can basically hit both of them with that one card draw or card play. Sorry. Raptor goes out, Stormforge triggers. The other Raptor goes out. Stormforge triggers again. So I've got plenty of card draw. Plenty of options. Heroic act for the Celestant Prime. Draw two. Keep one. Ditch one. Good thing is with the draw for Celestant Prime, you can see if any of those two cards are going to hit any of your quests that you've got out. Triumphant Smash Play to get rid of Arcane Bolt. Save myself seven damage. So I've got no, I'm not blocking any lanes at the minute, so Mike can deploy anywhere he likes. So Mike's playing Claws of the Grave. So uh, when that rotates, it's going to do the last corner damage of the unit that's in the discard pile. Uh, Zombie Dragon goes in, hits my Inspire Glory. Should have discarded a card for the zombie dragon. So, missed that one. So, Celestin Prime. There's not many interaction cards when somebody plays, plays a card. Inspire Glory is one of them. So, it's just trying to remember all the little bits after your, after your opponent triggers their events. Piercing shot. Hits the third quest for Liberate Prime. Just need to deploy a Stormcast unit. And that's his one done. So, Call the Claws of the Grave has just triggered that Terror Geist that's sitting in its discard pile. It's just hit me for four. Another feast in Vargeist. Gain health, gain cards. Frenzied Vargeist. Does damage and removes a unit. If he removes a unit, then he um, gets an additional action. So, not going to deploy into the Liberator Prime lane this turn because of that Vargeist. The, the Frenzied Vargeist will kill it, and then um, Michael will have three actions. I don't want to give him any more. So Hurricane Raptor. Try and control the um try and control the uh, lane of the hungering vampire lord and the Griff Charger pack will help me reset those reset the Raptor. So I can keep that lane locked down when that um Claws of the Grave goes down. So Claws of the Grave goes off again, hits the Terror Guys for damage. And my healthy 35 health has suddenly gone down to 13. So the slower start from Mike, because I controlled the lanes, has um, evened itself out, really. So, first stacking unit, Grim Gas Reapers. So that last corner will hit me for five. So the frenzied Vargeist goes off. So he's not going to gain an additional action. Curse strike. Mm. 
So Mike's was querying about the um, double quest off of one card, which you can't do. So he got the quest off because he hit Curse Strike, but the removal didn't work. But two damage from the Raptors. So Disruptive Liberator into, prior, into play. Completes the quest. Pull the Pennant pennant of Sigmaran. So I can restart all of my um, all of my Stormcast units. So restart my Raptors. One more damage. So one thing with Stormcast, they don't do a massive amount of damage. It's all it's all sort of like death by a thousand cuts, one, two, maybe three. Um, it's when they, if you get an arcane bolt out on a wizard, then you'll pump it up to seven. But um, they don't seem to pump out as much damage as, as the other ones, as the other factions. So Mike can only, he can stack a card onto his uh, Grimgast Reapers. A stack a card onto his feast in Vargais, but the other two lanes are blocked off because of the disruptive liberator and the hurricane raptor. So, devouts, he's got rid of my disruptive liberator, turns his bloody vampire queen. Bloody vampire queens hits her um hits her little ability. She can put a vampire back in her hand. My stormforge triggers, so I drew a card. So the card draw on this deck from um, Matt Cosmo is really good. Um, it's just whether or not you draw the utility cards or you draw your um your units. So feasting Vargas goes in. So Mike's getting more health, more draw. See the Raptors are good, but the Raptors in play have locked down that lane. But the only trouble is I can't complete any more quests on my Celestin Prime. Um, so they're 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 really good on playing when a unit when a champion has actually completed his quest because then you can just lock him down and just try and keep restarting those raptors so i need to start playing on the liberator prime to try and get him try and get his quest moving so long strike raptors into play not going to get the long strike raptors extra damage off because that grim ghast is going to be around for a while rotate my charges to reset my raptors so hungry vampire lord is doing nothing two damage from the reapers Zombie Dragons into play. More Ren damage coming my way. Uh, Mike should have discarded the card for that, but he's discarded the card off the Hungering Vampire Lord's Heroic Act and gained a health. So, just keeps missing that stipulation. So, four damage onto Mike. Paladin Decimator into play. The good thing is, I mean, watching these videos, you tend to you tend to miss your triggers. So um, it's invaluable for learning learning other people's cards because um, I've primarily just played order. I've only collected order, um, and Mike is pretty much playing playing um, death. So Griff Charger packs in, so I can restart those. Uh, I can't restart the Raptors, but I can certainly restart that Paladin Decimator. 
So after Mike's hit me, I'm down to one health. So, can I hit him for six? So, <laughs> Vampire Laws discard a card to gain two health. So now I've got to do eight. And I'm doing one. I should have drawn a card there for Stormforge. So another Paladin Decimator goes into play. Completes the Stormcast deployment for Celestant Prime. There we go, I've remembered the Stormforge trigger. There we go. Four damage from the Zombie Dragon, that's it. Mike's won game one. So we shall bring game two at a later date and see what happens, see if I can get my revenge. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, um, there's more to come, so subscribe to the channel, like the video, put some comments below, like I said, yeah we missed some, we missed some triggers, but we're all starting, and hopefully through watching these videos, you guys will pick up some tips, um, and remember the stipulations on the cards, okay guys, cheers, bye bye.